Okie dokie, okie dokie. I have a new light. Did you notice? Um, I got one of those little Walmart things. Oh look, it's this thing. That thing. And I like it so far. We'll see how it goes. Um, but, something even better than that came in the mail. And I've been waiting all day. I got so excited when I got that Etsy notification that was like, it's here. I was like, oh. I ran outside immediately. But, I've saved it for you guys. I saved it. Oh, it's double wrapped. Get it. Get it. But it is in plastic. Just saying. Guys, okay. I have lots of Oracle decks, okay? So I've been on the hunt for more tarot decks. And I've had my eye on a few different ones for quite a while. This was inspired. Getting this deck was inspired by someone, even though everything changes, right? The only constant is change. But I can feel this is what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to get the Starman Tarot deck. Yeah, it's a David Bowie deck, okay? Inspired by the artworks he created for David, Bo David Bowie by David DeAngelis. Starman Tarot, okay? And I only have a little bit. I can't sit here and talk for an hour. I only have like 15 minutes and then I have to leave. But this might take longer than that. So I might be late, but it's fine. I'm always late. But let's open it real quick, okay? Let's <clears throat> mm. check this baby out. Um, what I'm immediately noticing is not just the beautiful artwork, right? But there is a Merkaba on David Bowie's face. You see it? This is what it looks like. It's on his face. Even more confirmation. I love this deck too. Absolutely. Like the box, I mean. Absolutely beautiful. No one's ever done a reading. <sighs> I'm so excited. No one's ever done a reading for me from the Starman Tarot. So this is a completely new deck for me, okay? I think maybe like um, a YouTube reader has used it for like a libra reading right because i'm a libra but um look at that oh my god look at this he has a baby in his belly <gasps> oh i'm loving this deck the more and more i look at it this is why i got it Like, what ultimately made me decide is this lover's card. Look at all that honey dripping everywhere. Okay, that's what gets me. <laughs> this is what we're looking for, okay? <laughs> oh, I haven't had sex in a while. Don't tell anybody that. Uh, <laughs> single life, living the dream. It's also against my religion to watch porn, so there that is. Um, I guess, you know, if you're a child and you're watching this, you should not be. Get the, get the fuck off this video, okay? Under 18? You can't be here <laughs> for this video, apparently. Oh my god, you guys. I feel the power, okay? I love opening a deck that I know I was supposed to get. Instead of just, like, out of... You know, just fluttering and wanting something. So I bought something like, no, I can feel the power with this deck. I can feel the connection already. So it's a Starman Tarot. And of course we start with the Fool card, but it's called the Sacred Clown card. So Obviously, it's not um, traditional in the sense of what it's called, but we all know it's the Fool's card, right? There's a Merkaba on this one, too. The Merkaba is a symbol of the light... What is it? Merkaba. Light spirit body. Basically, ascension. Right? 
I put it on my heart. Kind of fast tracked that for me, didn't it? <laughs> so, um, are all the backs the same? These are the backs. This is the fool's card. This is the back. Okay. He has a banana in his waistband. He's shooting fire out of his finger. There's a sun behind him. You see that? <laughs> Where's the elements though? I see a vagina in between his legs in the background on the door behind him. <laughs> okay. Um, vagina. You like my wording? I hate the word pussy. It's ridiculous. I'm never going to use that word again after I just told you. Um, there's traps around him. And there's a diamond in one of the traps. Very interesting. These have a lot of little things about them. And I think that's probably why I picked... Excuse me, this deck. Because... I <laughs> I mostly go off intuition. Like when I do readings for people and they're like, "Oh my gosh, I've had I've been asked several times like, how do you um memorize all these cards cuz I have lots of decks. I've given some away recently, but I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 decks right now. Well, 13. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Um, I have 13 decks, but I've had several people ask me, like, how do you memorize these cards? And I'm like, oh, honey, no. <laughs> Not even close. No, I grab the deck. I shuffle. I let the intuition lead the rest, basically, right? So um, I love these kinds of decks that have so much in one picture. Um, I'm definitely someone that's comfortable with that kind of energy, Okay, so this is the star man. So the magician, right? So you have to know something about the tarot if you want to bring the tarot into the meanings, the traditional means of tarot. But I've noticed the moon. I've noticed his higher chakra above his head is depicted. I've noticed... Just the feeling, the electricity look, right? The lightning look, it looks like energy, okay? So the energy look, they're really doing good at bringing these two things together. Um, there's another Merkaba coming from the hand with the gun, which is interesting. There's a hand with a gun, this side. And then there's a hand with a key on the other. Ooh, what does that mean, huh? The Kabbalah is up here, the flower of life, another Merkaba, a heart that's on fire, or just fire. It's fire. It, looks, it looked like a heart to me, like a real legit heart, but it was on fire, right? So there's just so much in these, in these pictures, you guys. Did I put that up? Okay, so we got... The Fool, the Magician. Here's the High Priestess card. You ready? Look at that. If that doesn't scream Earth Mother, I don't know what will. I mean, I know Empress is pretty good at that. Oh, and look, she is, she is made out of animals and Earth. Isn't that amazing? Like, but also stars. Like, it's all there. <laughs> I'm noticing the eyes on her boots. You see that? There's just so much to these cards, you guys. It's amazing. So much you can go off of intuitively. I love that she's still named the High Priestess. I feel like that's important. <clears throat> and the Empress. Guys, I'm loving, loving, loving this energy with this deck. I definitely feel like it is an Ascension deck. Definitely 5D shit, right? Bringing in that 5D. Here's the Empress card. Lots of pink. Ooh, you see the two twins on each side? The human babies connected by energy, connected by life. Oh, they're not even connected. They're just, Oh, no, they're connected. They're barely connected. 
And then what do we got going on here? She's got a pipe coming out of her neck. What's that supposed to mean, huh? That's what I like about these cards. They make you wonder. They, like, spark your curiosity. But it's also, like, there's so much imagery. Whatever you're drawn to, you could use as an intuitive message for readings, right? Like, I'm noticing her heart on one side. <clears throat> She's got milk. <laughs> She's got milk coming into her hands, you guys. I like that. That motherly feeling, huh? There's just so much going on in this picture. There's a cage above her head. She's got a crown on that looks absolutely amazing. Stunning. I love the imagery. I love the colors. The emperor. The e Tell me that doesn't scream emperor. Look at that. It's got a universe in his fucking... In his torso, do you see that? Like, by, by his... What is that? His root shot, His solar plexus chakra, maybe? Look at that. There's just so much to go off of in these cards, you guys. And it screams 5D. It screams Ascension, which is funny, because I, ju I just started, like, specifically throwing out there that I do Ascension readings. Okay, two more cards, and then I gotta go. Here's the Hierophant. Which is what I always, like, I get him and the Hermit mixed for some fucked up reason. <laughs> um, the Hierophant. He's got the lamb. He taking shit serious, bro. He's got a wand in his hand with two snakes as the heads. He's got... Some light beings coming out of his palm, but there's two of them. He's very fucking connected and on top of his shit, though. There's enough, more Morka Boss. <laughs> Just more confirmation to me, you guys, that I was supposed to get this deck. I feel like I made the right choice. Okay, last one I'm going to show. The Lovers. Look at this card. I fucking love this card. This is what we're looking for, guys. Some spiritual chakra or solar plexus fucking burst and shit, you know? Like merging. There's bees all over and there's honey and there's a... <laughs> Look, there's even a hummingbird at the bottom of the dripping honey. Ain't that fucking sexy. This is what we're striving for, guys. It's the kind of sex we're having in the 5D, okay? <laughs> I love this card. This is really why I bought it. I was like, that lover's card? Yes. Yep. All of it. Thank you. All right. I'll pull one more. Something says to pull one more. So I am going to mix it up for the first time. But you can't. See, you just get to watch my face. You're welcome. I love this, though. Ooh, I just found the moon card. That's what I'm gonna show you. I just found the moon card. That's what I'm gonna show you. Look at this. Oh, very feminine. We got some kind of language, maybe star people language or something going on over here. Many sides of you, huh? Kind of the vibe that gives me. Interesting. I love how they kept the energy with it, though, with the water and the moon. That's perfect. That's the kind of shit we need. <laughs> Don't throw it too far off, you know what I mean? I haven't seen the moon card in a long time, now that I think about it. In my own readings. I mean, there's been some Libra readings on YouTube, but... So there's the moon card, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I hope it gives you a better idea of what this deck is about. Maybe help you make a decision. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to go back and do reviews of each of the decks that I have. So it's not just like I have unboxing decks, but I have review decks where I've actually used the deck for a while and have something to say. 
have some things to say about it so thank you for being here thank you for stopping by on my channel um leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video let's talk about it or maybe you have this deck or maybe you want to get this deck let's talk about it um so much color i absolutely love it not disappointed in the slightest paid like 40 bucks on etsy for it I will put a link in the description below for that. If you guys are interested in getting a reading from me or some heart healing, hey, I'm a certified emotion code practitioner now. And um, I do everything online. Most of my stuff is online. And I want to get to a point where I can have an office and people can come and, you know, visit me in that office for readings and such. But right now, online is what works best for me. And I love my online readings and lots of people love my online readings because they can refer back to them for up to 12 months. I will have a private YouTube link that you can access at any time for up to a year after your reading. And I found that's pretty invaluable for people so that they can go back and really watch and listen and um, reaccess that information if they forget something or if they want some extra guidance and don't want to pay for a new reading or whatever, whatever. So if you guys are interested in any of that, I will put links in the description below. Thank you so much for being here and spending your precious time with me. Until next time, my friends, namaste.